Are you tired of giant monsters breaking your house? Do you want to be a better dancer to dance it away? Then I have just the dance for you. Ten years dance tutorial. Hi, my name is David Freyr and I'm going to teach you how to dance the, the ten years dance. The dance is perfect for if you want to uh, get rid of uh, monsters, if you want to turn them into funky dance monsters instead of destroying uh, non-funky dance monsters. So if, if you have a monster problem, this video is for you. Move zero. The jump. The dance starts with uh, move zero. Jump. While pivoting to the right. Move one. Flowy hands. The first move. Flowy hands. To dance like Agna Magnet, um, you almost always have to think right. So every move either starts from the right side or turns to the right. So um, if you're thinking right, you're probably right. In this move, keep your hands fairly loose. First the right hand goes to the front and the left hand goes back. You use your hands kind of like a, like a paintbrush. While you do this, bend your knees slightly to the beat. After you put your right hand to the front and your left to the back, then you do the opposite. Put your left hand to the front and your right one to the back. But this time you keep your left hand in the front position. The right hand then catches up to the left hand in the, in the front. And right as it has done that, you, you whip them to the back, like so. This may feel silly uh, while you do it, but believe me, it's going to look super cool. Very hip. Move to the pivot. The second move is the pivot. Now, uh, following the last move, your, your hands should be by the, your sides and your fingers should be pointing back and your like palms to the up. Now starting with the left foot, um, I know we're breaking the, the right rule, but uh, when uh, right is not right, then we only have left left. So yeah, starting with the left foot, um, s take small steps and uh, slowly turn to the front. And while you do this, uh, your, your fingers that were turning back, they are slowly turning to your away from you. Criss-cross. The third move, the criss-cross. Now from, from this position, um, start crossing your hands, um, still uh, using your fingers as, as paint brushes. And first the right hand is in the front, right again. And, uh, and the second time you do it is the left hand that's in the front. On the first cross your right foot goes out and then back and then on the uh, second time you cross your hands the left foot does the same. Move for the mind screw. The fourth move, the hardest move of them all. This uh, may look like the one of the easier moves, but uh, at least to me it was probably the hardest one. I don't know why, it just was. 
Um, now, keep your left hand to your side, uh, your left side, and your right hand goes goes out and makes like a half circle. And while while that's happening, your left foot also does a half circle, and your right foot is is, is standing ground, so so you um, don't fall, but you you bend it, bend it a li little bit. The think about things. Keep your hands uh, fairly straight and then flick your wrists to the right and then to the left and then quickly right, left, right. Your hips should be following um, your hands. The hips are really the, the most important part of this move. So uh, really pay attention to your hips because they don't lie. The body feel. Put your hands in front of your hips and slowly drag them up your body. As you drag your hands up, you also slowly go up on your tippy toes. When you have reached your shoulders uh, with your hands and your peak position of tippy toeness, then uh, go quickly down again and hands to the sides and your, your flat feet on the ground. Move seven. The stepper. Take a step to the right with your right foot and then move your left foot in. Now take a step back and to the left with your left foot and then move your right foot in. Now take a step forward with your right foot and move your left foot in so you end in the, in the starting position. And while this is happening, um, your hands are doing nothing. They, they just stay to your sides. The last move is move number eight. The sass. The eighth move and possibly the most powerful, okay, definitely the most powerful move of the dance is the sass. Um, in this one, you should be as sassy as you can. This is, this is the time for your personality to uh, really shine. Um, in, in the rest of the dance, uh, no personality, please. Uh, at least uh, none of your personality. Um, but in this move, I, I want all of it. Um, or I need all of it. I'm going to need all of your personality in the last move. Yeah, the last move, um, that's all you, baby. My move uh, is like um, this. But yours could be like this. Or like this. Or even like this. Although I don't recommend that uh, last one. But uh, this is the time for you to do you. So if, th if that's you, then I do recommend it. How does it keep getting better? How does it keep getting better? Every day I'll find some new way to prove the time we spent together. Mmm, simply feels good. We got a good thing going. I hope this uh, helps with your uh, dance fighting of giant monsters. Um,
Thank you.